with Does Size Matter and we have got another RV review for you today. We are at Country Camping in Salmon Arm, British Columbia, Canada. So that means the numbers are going to be in Canadian dollars. So yeah, there's a big difference there these days. <laughs> but they have the Flagstaffs and we are going to show you a 2020 Flagstaff Super Light 26 RSWS. So the big point that I want to make to you right off the bat is that the construction video that goes with this and I'll link to at the end in one of the corners is for the Rockwood slash Flagstaff because yeah Rockwood and Flagstaff are the exact same trailer. I don't know why they do it but they do so you can use that construction video for everything you want to know about either one and then today we'll take you on the tour here. So the super light in Flagstaff is equal to the ultralight in Rockwood just in case you needed to get that comparison into your head they're the same uh, yeah so remember everything that we're telling you is just mine and Corey's opinion based on all the research that we do and that there is a research tool that we use that's linked in the description called RV reviews and you can use that too new used all manufacturers years and years worth of content and they'll even help you narrow it down to one RV so again click the link in there and learn from them as well as us so let's go on this tour come on we're going to start here at the front, we'll go around the outside and then we'll go inside and show you what they've got there. Uh, they have this very nice fiberglass cap and this beautiful window that I, I just love these front windows that you get on these trailers that is automotive glass so you don't have to worry about it. You get your um, two 30 pound propane tanks, you get a jack electric jack with a light in it which is super nice no more cranking and then you also um, get a fairly sturdy rock guard here all right coming around this side um, i see you got a switch here and this is for the docking lights and they're going to come on right up in there so that's kind of cool when it's dark and you're coming in uh, you got a big storage compartment here very big actually it's quite high and wide it's lit i don't see any venting though okay and then you also get underneath here um electric stabilizer jacks so that's nice you do get two slides on this particular one um, the smaller one up here is a schwintex system which is appropriate for its size it's got good bulbs here and good flaps to help keep water and debris and things out. What I'm not seeing is a cover over them and I do kind of like to see the slide uh, covers. Also up there though, I do see it's got a good spout to push the rain away from the side of your trailer. So that's nice. Coming down here is your service center. So you've got your city water, your tank flush and your winterization. And it's lit, so that's nice too if you're after dark when you're getting in. Uh, coming down, if you can see under here, here is your gray pole, and here is your sewer connection with your black pole valve. Um, they are up underneath in the underbelly, and they are heated with pads. Uh, and so there is still this run between but I don't think you have to worry about that too much. It is on a good angle. I don't think there'll be much, you know, that sits in there. Um, and I don't think it's gonna get caught or break on anything. You do get an outdoor shower here. So that's always nice. Kids, pets, that kind of thing. You do get uh, thermal pane windows on the Flagstaff. I love that. This slide is a rack and pinion slide and it's um it's quite good i it's got the uh, same bulb and flap just all on one side here and what i do like is that this piece is uh 
got a little bit of reinforcement in it so it's stronger and it's not going to flap around like some of those ones you do see let's go further back oh we got something here ah i've seen this before actually i saw it on the rockwood they just use up every little square inch of space to uh, use for storage right okay down around here at the back um, you've got your freshwater fill you have a 50 amp connection and underneath here I don't know if you can see it down there there's the white that is your freshwater drain and then you've also got your electric stabilizer jack coming around to the back oh this is a bit of an upgrade so this is a hard cover over your spare so that's nice to have you do get a uh, it's all wired up for backup camera and that kind of thing and you get a ladder here and oh and as well I want to mention the hitch um, it'll be good for like a, a bike rack or that kind of thing that's what we would put there and our bike rack would come out far enough that you could still put the two bikes on and it would ours rides really super solid I guess that's the thing to pay attention to when you're putting a bike rack on something like this they do come out and you want to make sure that they're not doing this when you're riding down the road all right let's go this way uh, here is that button for those electric jacks you get a big really big awning which has a beautiful LED lighting in it and I can see it being reflected off the side of the trailer right now that's just a big tease for me this is a two-door model and this is an upgrade these are wonderful wonderful steps they are the step above manufacturer and there are a few different type of ones but they're so sturdy so easy to manage they are just i don't know i think all trailers are going to end up going to these but what i'm seeing as an upgrade is that on most trailers that have two doors you only get these on one and you're getting them on both here so that's pretty great you get uh handles let's take a look at these doors yep so they are on the friction hinge which i love and the screen is the self closer which i love and you do get the uh, screen in the door there nice let's just go down the rest of it uh let's talk about tires again you guys know that i'm not a tire specialist these are radial st226 um there's gotta be more oh here st225 slash 75r15 hopefully that helps and you get some outdoor speakers here is cable and electric a spot that you can hook the tv up to and then you got this rail for i know it's for a table that slides in here just to give you an outdoor table um, I just would really like to see it in place because this is way too high for a table for me, right? Like we could practically eat off of it. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's like one of those uh, bar tables. <laughs> so anyways, I'd like to see that in place. And, and if any of your owners that have one, please feel free to comment and tell us how that actually works. Cause I'm sure other people would like to know too then your second door here and we've got the other side to that big storage compartment and these doors are on magnets so that's good I, I just love magnets because you don't have to worry about holding it up with some little device or getting bonked in the head or anything like that so I super like it now we're going to go inside and i like to go in through the back because that's basically the main living area so come on let's go take a look all right all right uh i guess i'm not in love with the kitchen i guess you can't love everyone's kitchen <laughs> so really kitchen just depends on you right so over here We've got a TV and I will figure out what the size is for you, but it does have that storage space back there. We like that. 
Uh, you've got your sound, and then you've got some more storage. That's quite a bit, hey? And then, moving over to the kitchen, uh, 1.3 cubic foot. It uh, says that it fits a full-size dinner plate, 11 inches. Um, so, for me, again, it's just too high. It, uh, that's going to be a spill on my head. I can hardly reach in there. I know they put those up high because you also have an oven, and I'll show you that. I do like the window that's in here, and I like the little decorative backsplash, but I wish they'd carried it around onto this side as well, just because if you're going to have a backsplash, it's to catch spills, right? You get a uh, three burner propane. Uh, this is a suburban stove and it's quite nice. And I do like that it's um, very level with the countertop. You do get hard surface countertops and you get this great oven. That's quite a, a deep oven and I do like it. Over to the rest of the counter. It's just that it's not enough for me. It's very nice counter. Up here, uh, that goes right back to the corner. So I like it, but it's difficult for me to reach in there. Way back there, I'm never going to reach anything. So this is definitely a stool user kitchen. And I would be putting some sort of shelving system or bins or something like that up there. Uh, what do we got in this one? And that is better reaching for me but i would still put some type of shelving thing to take care of the height and utilize that you do have electrical you get a uh, double stainless undermount sink i like this it's not too big not too small very nice uh, tap system sprayer and of course i love the uh, covers in there because that adds to your countertop or allows you to run water through it while you're using the sink. And of course, you got to have a flip up, right? That's very good. Coming down, uh, so this is just a place to put your sponge, those kinds of things. You get a drawer and another storage cupboard. So, this is where there's more storage for your kitchen because that's important to have. And that's a, a nice pantry, okay? So good size here. Um, I, can, I can reach almost to the back in it. Uh, you could put a little light in there because I would rather it be lit, but, and you could also put easy to reach bins and things in there. And then your fridge. Now I'm not sure exactly what size it is and I'll try and figure that out for you. Oh, it's nice and cool. Um, what I love about it is its height, right? This is a pretty big fridge and look it. I mean, everything is accessible. I love that. Excellent job putting the fridge down though. <laughs> for me, <laughs> I get it, it's not for everybody. Next, we've got this theater seating here. And these are, these are quite comfortable chairs actually and they fit good. I like them they, and they're, uh, the material is like an easy to clean type of material you've got. Uh, drink holders, you get all the bells and whistles, light, massage, that kind of stuff. There's storage in here. Uh, I'm assuming that this is a recliner that comes out, but I don't see the mechanism for that. Um, and I just want to show you one other thing. These little tables uh, hook into right here and they sit like this. Um, so it's not my favorite type of table. And the reason is that it's just way over there. It is off to the side, so it's not really good for my computer or things. It's good for a drink or a snack, but I already have these for that. And then the other thing I wanna point out in this particular floor plan is that this is your only table. There's no dinette in here. Um, so this is what you would use. Some models that have this kind of thing with no dinette will have a, a table hook up in the floor you know that the post goes in and then the table um, but I'm not seeing that in here so I'm going to suggest that this is your table which would not cut it for me lots of people prefer to have theater seating instead of a dinette and if that's you then this may be the rig for you 
So that's those, and then it comes around to a nice couch. And this will make out into a bed, So, and you've got lots of room for that. All of this seating faces the TV very well with no obstruction. I like that. You do get, and I'd like to open these and show you, but it just ruins the video for you. Uh, but these are some beautiful windows, and uh, I'll try and get some clips. You do have a little uh, stand here that you could put your drink or your book or whatever, and there is electrical in that, so that's good too. And I do believe there's one on this side as well. Indeed. Open. Oh, I also see you get storage up here. And all of these windows are going to open, so you'll get good circulation. And there's also a vent up there. So that's nice. And then of course, when you've got this screen door open, you're getting circulation. And I love the window that's in there. Right inside the door is where your panel is located, you know, with your slide buttons, um, you know, lighting, all that kind of stuff, water pump, water heater. I've, I'm a little concerned about this, first of all, that it's open and that it's right here at the door like this because this is the kind of place where you'll accidentally put your hand as you're coming in or lean on it and you'd hate to, you know, burn out something because you just accidentally turned it on. I did notice as I was looking around in here that they have this little sign here indicating that there is a tire pressure monitoring system included. So that's nice, right? Anything that's helpful for safety, right? Uh, you've got this nice light vinyl floor uh, and it's, it seems quite durable. Of course, light floors pick up everything and show everything. So you'll have to think about that. And then you've got the carpet over here because that's just what they do in slides. They say that this is stain and soil resistant. I mean, carpet's carpet, right? But it, you don't have that big step in this slide, you know, that you did in older ones. So that's pretty nice. The other thing is that your AC uh, is here and it's vented throughout. And the other thing that I like uh, is that the furnace ducting goes through the furniture. So you don't have any of that in the floor either. So it's just, to me, that's a stronger floor. Now, let's check out what is behind the door. I want to point out too that the door has a space above it and below it just to allow more air circulation. And this takes us into the bathroom. So this is a pretty good bathroom. It's because it takes up the whole width of the trailer, right? So this is a large plastic sink with quite a bit of countertop space and this little extra shelf, basic tap, nice uh, level of the mirror with some storage in there. And there's also a little window that I like and more um, for your face cloth, that kind of thing. And more storage there. And there's this little shelfy thing right here. So that's good. There is electrical here as well. Now, come on in because I wanna show you what's behind the door because it isn't a pocket door, which, you know, I'd rather have, but it is what it is. Over here is your toilet, which is a, a plastic toilet, I believe, foot flush, plastic lid, big shower. Let me step inside and show you how big, right? That's quite big. It does have the aquamizer system so that you're not wasting water while it's warming up. You're not filling up your tank. You are, it circulates through there so that it gets warm. So this is how big it is around. You do get the skylight for those of you who need the extra headroom. I just can't imagine. You do get some uh, shelves in here. This is a plastic system. It is a one piece around and then the base is a separate piece. Um, these are the click together type of thing um, that they say doesn't need to be cocked. Me, but I, I just would prefer it to be cocked. You do get nice glass doors. Three pieces. So that's good. And they do have a security thing in here to keep them from crashing around. And then you go into this bedroom. So this will be a queen bed 
and I will get you the dimensions. Uh, just so you know, this is as far as you go up to here uh, because there's a, a platform here. Loving this, right? You can, that's a lot of space. USB, electrical and a drawer. Quite a nice drawer there. Um, so, I mean, as far as reaching those and making the bed, you just have to climb up here to do that, which isn't all that unusual. Here's the storage up here. And remember uh, that it kind of is rounded, right? So, but probably you're putting clothes and stuff in here, so it doesn't really matter. All LED lights, venting for your AC plus a vent plus speakers. And then let's see. Oh, the other thing that's over here is this second door. Uh, we have lots of people who go one way. They think it's ridiculous and other people um, love it. I'm of the thinking it's a good deal thing, especially if you have company or people out there or. Or a slide that doesn't allow you to get into the bedroom. That's an important point. And we'll take a look at that when we go back out. So let's see under the bed here. So you do get some storage and I see there's drawers down there and between those drawers you can see the venting for the furnace so that's nice and she goes down nice and easy and then oh and also there's a, this door between the bathroom and the bedroom is a slider door so that's nice. Over on this side it's the same kind of setup in that this is as far forward as you can go. And here's some more shelving and this is closet space nice closet space too I can reach that quite easily and of course on that side you've got more electrical and more USB uh, here is where you could put a TV uh, there's also great windows in here so I like that and I want to climb up here and show you so stick with me I got to do a little climbing but these lines are a two-way right so this is your day and there's your night that's handy right all right so let's go take a look at what the numbers are and see what you can access with the slide closed so this is the slide area here so when it came in it's probably coming to about here so you could get in the door you could access the stove and the sink and the refrigerator, so that's great. You wouldn't be able to make this into a bed, but what you also would be able to do when this is fully in, and of course this flip down would have to be down because you know it's coming to like here, which then blocks you from this bathroom area, but you got that other door. So when that other door is open, you can get into the bedroom and the bathroom. So, Cracker Barrel, Walmart, you probably aren't opening your slide, or at least you shouldn't be, and you could still access stuff. You just have to go out to the other door to do it. It's just an overnighter. You could do it. Now, let's take a look at the numbers. Now for the numbers on the 2020 Flagstaff Superlight 26 RSWS. It is running at uh, 6,229 pounds unloaded vehicle weight. So then you have to add in your cargo carrying capacity of 2,509 pounds. The dry hitch weight is at 738 and the dry axle weight 5,432. The length hitch to bumper is 29 foot 9 inches, the width is 96 inches, the height including the AC because you have to, uh, 134 inches, the fresh water is 60 gallons and the gray and the black are each 45 gallons. Now I can tell you the bed sizes. The queen at the front is a 60 by 74. The awning outside that I said was so big is it's a 21 foot awning and I'm noticing that you do have the option of putting a dinette in there where the recliners are if you so choose which makes perfectly good sense because 
different strokes for different folks, right? And then the final number is a price today of $54,500 here in Canada. So remember, there, that's why it seems so big. People get concerned about, whoa, that's way too much. It's just the exchange rate, which really sucks right now. If you've liked this one, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Link in the corner to the Nuts and Bolts construction in one of our adventures. We've loved showing it to you. Thanks for watching.